Um, yeah, I'm sure that most of you know who the fuck I am. I'm Cornelius, and if you're new, welcome. Glad that uh, you can join us for a live. And uh, if if you've been watching recently, you know that a lot of what I've been doing has been just kind of chilling and talking about my travels. But today I'm gonna do some stick and poke tattooing, and uh, well. Yeah, <laughs> but first we're gonna chill for a minute and let folks find the, the live stream and see who joins us. Oh, Satan, you want your little jacket off? Here. So I left my my tent pole that I was using as a monopod back at the last place that I camped, and I think. After all the trouble that I've been through with it, trying to figure out how to actually use it. I mean, it's it's good for like a selfie stick and whatever, but I just dropped it because it's like, you know, when you're backpacking, you can only carry so much and I wasn't using it enough to warrant carrying it. So, um, yeah, but anyway, I've still got my mount here, which I'm using just kind of to hold my phone up. That seems to be working fine, but of course I'm going to have limited angles that I can get it at. Uh, so yeah, whatever. We're working with what we got. Hey, what's up, folks? Thanks for joining us. Hello, welcome. Good, good evening, etc. I've got a a very classy bottle of champagne here that I'm gonna crack open. Nice. Mm, mm, mm. And I just cleaned my cup. It was very dirty. <laughs> I don't know how I got that dirty. I guess just being in my backpack. Cheers, reprobates. Mm. So I guess let me show you what I'm using. Um, since I'm traveling out of a backpack, I don't have as much stuff as I usually have access to, but this is all stuff that I normally carry in my bag. So, let me just show you here. I've got my tattoo needles. This one is taped to my drawing pen so that I have something to hold on to. And then I have an extra here for later or for another person. I'm probably gonna, um, this is not something that I recommend doing, but I'm gonna do it because I only have two needles. I'm gonna save this one after I'm done and put it back in a little case and tape it up. But this is the first time that I've used it. So yeah, um, it'll be nice and sharp. I'm just putting it in here for now so that I don't stab myself with it accidentally. Um, I've got my ink here. This is actually um, a joint container, but uh, yeah, I filled it with some of my India ink so that I have stuff to work with while I'm on the road. So we're gonna be using that. And I'm going to put it in this soda cap from the root beer that I drank last night. And this is some um, disinfectant. And uh, I don't have a whole lot of it, so I'm not going to use a ton of it. Because, I mean, I don't want to have to buy a whole new thing of rubbing alcohol just to fill this little thing. It's, it's easier to find somebody that has some that they can spare. <laughs> Um, and I always carry Vaseline too, because, you know, when you're out in the wind and the weather, you get trapped pretty good. So this is just good for all sorts of stuff. And then I've got these, um, these rags. They're like wet wipes with disinfectant in them. I only have like maybe one or two or three, <clears throat> three of them left. So I'm going to use them sparingly. Oh, and I should get a glass of water so that I can, um, you know, keep reusing them and wetting them. But yeah, that's my kit. And then, uh. This is my sketchbook or my little notebook, and my pen. So let me show you what we got here. Oops. These are um, some of the hobo code uh, symbols. You know, so, some of them are like, I drew them a few times like that, just because was, there was different versions of them that I found. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some, one of these. Not sure which one. I did a poll on Instagram to see um, which of the four that I liked the best that people wanted me to get. And the one that won is the free telephone. 
And I was going to do whatever I felt like I wanted to do anyway, but I actually think that is really cute. So uh, <laughs> I'm, I think I'm going to go with the free telephone. It's either that or a uh, good place for a handout. That one's good. Or this is the place is really good. And then um, good water was the other one that I really liked. So between this is the place, good place for a handout, good water and free telephone. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure um, if you have one that you like, then feel free to tell me in chat which one you like the best. Because I'm, I'm still not 100% sure. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Um, hey, welcome, Cole. Got to a live stream finally. Hell yeah. So another challenge here is going to be trying to figure out how I can angle the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, I think maybe I'll bring it back a little bit and bring it down. Let's try that. Bring it back and bring it down. Yeah, that's nice. We can work with that. Ooh, so nice. And I'm right next to this window, so I got good lighting. Yo, check out what it looks like out there. That's what it looks like outside my window. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm in a hotel room, or a motel room very 80s motel and um i'm just hiding look at the sky there it's gonna be stormy for like i mean it, it it didn't rain at all yet today which i thought it was going to but it's going to be raining through the night and all tomorrow and it's been extremely cold so i didn't want to be traveling through that right now because well it's cold and it sucks and uh yeah, I'm not about to be turning myself into a human popsicle. So I'm taking refuge in this uh, motel, which was only $30 per night. I got a deal online and 30 bucks for a night at a hotel. Like, it's half abandoned and um, in the middle of nowhere, but I think it's very nice. And it's, uh, you know, it's better than being out in the weather right now, so I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Good times. Mm, 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 mm. I should put down, yeah, I should put down like a piece of cardboard or something. Um, I do have a pizza box that I was going to use as like um, microwave plates and such, but um yeah, I should probably just cut the top off of this and use it as a placemat while I'm doing my tattoo so I don't stain the table or anything like that. Oops. And then I can use the other side for uh, microwave food. Mmm, pizza. Use that. That'll work. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feeling pretty good about it. I think this will be nice. So I'm just gonna put my little placemat down. I should do it the other way. There we go. gear here and make sure it's like totally flat so it's not disrupting my tattooing by popping up all the time there we go and so let's see what other folks think hmm I haven't gotten any input on which hobo code you guys would like to see on me, so you probably you probably don't care, so that's fine. But uh, I already drew 
uh, free telephone on me. And I think that's the one I'm going to do because I think it's really cute. And actually the, the inverted triangle there, it means tramps here. Or um, alternatively, it can mean like this spot is blown up. Like as in there's a lot of tramps here. <laughs> but uh, it might be cool to have... Well, I mean, the main reason that I've chose this spot here is so that I can show it to you while I'm doing it, because if I decided to put it on my leg or something, that would be really hard to frame it right now. So um, I'm just going to put it there right above this other uh, code. And maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger, actually. I don't know. I think it's cute, though. It's like just a goofy little bird. And it's kind of an antiquated... Um, symbol because like you know people don't really use telephones much anymore much less like back like back in the day that would have been like such a godsend to see to be like oh holy shit there's a telephone here I can call somebody you know my my friend that I haven't spoken to s since like you know last month and they have no idea where I am blah 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 um Nowadays, you know, everybody's got cell phones and stuff, but um, to me, it also kind of represents like communication in general, which I think is kind of cool. So I liked how it looked when it was like elongated and kind of derpy. Yeah, it's kind of a dumb kind of a dumb looking bird. I don't know, that's a little too dumb. Let's try, let's try making that a little bit different here. I'm gonna move this over here so you can see better. Let's see. Let's try that off. And I did just wash my hands too, uh, a couple times. So yeah, that's it's you know it's sanitary. Derpy bird, it's a derpy bird. Whoops. Do do do. It's a super derpy bird. Yeah. Kind of like that. That's cute, right? <laughs> I like it and it's simple enough that I can do it in like you know I could I could bust that out in like a half hour if I wanted to but I could also take my time and shoot the shit with you folks and do it in like an hour or whatever yeah I like it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's pretty damn cute let's see how it looks like down Oh yeah, that's nice. Very nice. <laughs> Simona says that's that little bird looks cool. Thanks. Yeah, I like it too. It's super cute. Bryn says, glad you got a roof over your head tonight. Thank you. Captain says all of them. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I've got other hobo code tattoos besides the uh, the tramps here. I've got um, this one. Wait, it's hard to like show you at the same time. Um, this one means doctor treats hobos for free. Saying stop. Don't do this again. I don't know why she does this. And this one here, it's hard to like show you in point at the same time. Okay, I guess I'm gonna put this here. This one means you will be cursed at. And wait, oh yeah. This one means uh, keep quiet. And damn, actually I think that might be it. Anyway, um, Almost all of my tattoos are unprofessional. These are all first time tattoos. And I got this one recently that's a Firebird Petroglyph. 
which is like pre pre indigenous like prehistoric uh petroglyphs it's like the oldest petroglyph in north america and it's everywhere across the southwest so i kind of i don't know i think it's really neat yeah and that's my that's my tag mm, there's another one <laughs> Anyway, Tiana says, hey, y'all, rad tat session. Love that you do your own. That's rad. Thanks. Me too. All right, we're going to do the little birdie. And I'm going to try my damnedest to, like, Put the camera in a way so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, that's okay. Or maybe I can put it like right here. Yeah, you can kind of see what's going on here. Something like that. Okay, cool. I don't know why I'm shaking up my ink. There's, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's good. I'm not sure if it is. <laughs> but I'm doing it. And I'm gonna fill up my little ink cup. You don't need a whole lot for little tattoos like this. So I'm just gonna put enough to, whoops, fill the bottom. And I'm gonna wipe down the area with my disinfectant. Oh yeah, I still need to get some water for um, for my rag here so I can wipe the ink away. Just gonna disinfect. And let me grab some water real quick. Oh, you're in the chair. You're so cute. She just got in the chair. <laughs> she, she wants to hang out. That's so cute. Say, maybe I'll move you over here. I don't know. You're funny. I don't want to disturb you, but I feel like you might like to be over here better. Hi, sweetie. Oh, you're too heavy for me to lift over the bed. Here. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> here, you can go right here. There you go. Now you can hang out. Now she can chill with us. <laughs> Satan, you're so cute. I don't even know how you do it. I don't even know how you do it, Satan. All right, I'm gonna redraw this a little bit. And maybe make it a little bit longer. There we go. Boop, boop. I like the little feet. There we go. That's good. I like it. Okay, let's make a happy little telephone wire bird. Mm -hmm. Oh, I made the needle a little bit too long off of the um, off the end of the marker. I should have put it a little closer because I like to hold it really close to it. But that's okay. We'll just I don't have any more tape, so we're just gonna have to do it. Hmm. 
Mm. Damn. That's why you gotta check your shit before you start live streaming. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, we're just gonna have to fuck it. Do it live. Actually, having it longer makes it a little easier to stretch my skin from further away. So I guess it's not so bad. All right, I'm starting with the butt, a little birdie butt. Let's see how that's working out. See if the ink's gonna stick. Mm, it's trying to. Okay, we're gonna have to get it a little deeper than that. I'm gonna move my rag over here. Oh, I'm going to plug in my phone again so that I don't run my battery down. All right. Oh, it's wet now. <laughs> I can hear the needle, like, stabbing my skin. That's kind of funny. Tick, 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 ow. All right, now we got a butt. <laughs> We're getting there. Just getting warmed up. How's everybody's Friday doing? Ooh, I thought that was my ink. Yes, yeah, Satan is supervising. She's making sure everything goes all right. Good job, Satan. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to redraw it a little bit. Because I wiped it away last time. Okay. It's gonna get erased a bunch more times while I'm working on it, so it doesn't really matter if I have it perfect right now. That's kind of the fun thing about stick and pokes is that they look like stick and pokes. So quiet. I mean, I can hear somebody watching TV in the room next to me, but like the whole hotel is eerily quiet and parts of it are like abandoned. Actually, half of it is totally empty and seems to be, well, it says it's under construction, but it seems like it's been like that for a very long time. Actually, I think that this place was just shut down for a long time, like a while. It was just an actual bando. Let's see, there we're getting some. Starting to take shape. Uh, and then recently was purchased and is now under new management. But like I said, half of it is still closed. There's this what I imagine at one point was a cutting edge lounge and bar that's now defunct, that's attached to uh, the motel. I wish it was open. It looks fucking awesome. It probably was like the hippest shit in the 80s because this whole hotel is like clearly a fucking 80s fever dream. It's pretty great. I posted some uh, pictures of it on my Instagram if you want to check that out. Yeah, no, I'm just like free balling this uh, tattoo at this point because I don't want to keep drawing it on. And um, it's really spotty because I do have the needle so far from the end. Usually I like to have it like right here so that I can like actually use it like a pen. But yeah, it's really far away. So I have less control, which you know what? It makes it more authentic anyway. So we're we're fine. It's good.
And you'll notice that I'm trying to stretch the skin with my hand here while I'm poking myself because that makes, uh, makes it easier for the ink to get deeper in there. Hmm. Wonder, no, I don't know. I was thinking about how I could make it so that you can get a better view, but I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Oh well. <laughs> I mean, I could put it back here so you can see me too, since you can't fucking see what I'm doing anyway. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, I'm like just hella free ball in this at this point, and it's gonna look, it's gonna look like a stick and poke, that's for sure. Free telephone, it's a little telephone line bird. <laughs> Melissa says, my Friday has sucked. I'm waiting on a table at this restaurant and there's a 30 minute wait, so it's good to see you. Oh. Yeah, keep fighting the good fight, Melissa. <laughs> oh, shit. Rushan says, good now that I'm off work. That wind was killer. I was in some pretty killer wind um, the other day, too. Holy shit, it was crazy. I was like, yeah, really up in the wind. And, um, you know, coming into this town, it was like coming into a frozen fucking wasteland I was like holy shit what have I gotten myself into no I'm just kidding I knew exactly what I was getting myself into um because I grew up a state over and I know how fucking insane winter can get but it's like April typically it's not still winter in April around these parts so I was like you know what how bad can it be sure there's still some snow on the ground and there was a blizzard last week, but it says, you know, it's above 30 degrees now. I should be able to handle it. And I did, but I wasn't about to travel through the night um, in that, or I would have turned into a freaking human popsicle. And when I say travel, that uh, is like code for something. Um, if you know, you know. But I'm not... I'm not trying to blow myself up here. Not until I figure out how, <laughs> what the rules are, what I can and can tell, can't tell you. But suffice it to say, it's got something to do with being a hobo. <laughs> if that's not obvious, I don't know what is. Ooh, there we go. Now we're well, now we're getting in the groove here. <laughs> this sure is a stick and poke. Check this out. This is what I got so far. And we're, yeah, we're gonna make it work. It's gonna be cute. I love me some hobo code. Give it a tall head. There we go. Bird. Birds aren't real. It's a government conspiracy. Oh, Satan. It's a government conspiracy. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, you're so cute. Look at that cute bean. I have the best travel partner. She's so good. The best. Big hi from Minnesota. Hey, lucky me, Stallman. How's it going? Simona says, I'm looking kind of with one eye sleepy since I'm stuck with Corona. Nice to catch you live. My Friday is in bed fighting urge to smoke. Ah. Well, you, you keep fighting the good fight, too. Sorry you got the Rona. That's unfortunate. It sucks. It sucks getting sick. All right, we almost got the whole body outline now. I'm just gonna go over a couple of these spots that are not as filled in. Then we got the body, and then I guess I'll do the little beak 
in the feet. And the eye, which shouldn't take too long. But you know what? I don't want to, you know, this is going a lot faster than I thought. Maybe, maybe if it goes really quick, I'll do a second hobo code one um, somewhere else. Or maybe in the general same area. Lucky me wants a tat from me. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm broke as a joke, so if you want to pay for a shitty stick and poke. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> that, that'll be my new um, my new tattoo artist slogan. I'm broke as a joke, so if you want a stick and poke, uh, holler at a folk. Or holler at a bloke. Yeah, there you go. Do it. Fuck you, pay me. Oh, on that note, um, feel free to check out the links in my description. I am actually broke as a joke, and um, while $30 motel is very reasonable, and I'm so glad that this was, like, an option for me um, to take refuge in, because otherwise I would have been hiding in somebody's barn or something through this. Um, you know, I it, it costs... <laughs> it costs money. So if you want to throw money my way, um, that'd be great. There's my PayPal link, which is the most direct way to get down with the kick down, show some love. Um, if you donate through YouTube, they take a cut from it and I don't get it until like next month. So, um, yeah, PayPal, Venmo, etc. I, I like to eat, and I like to eat good, and I like to stay warm and dry in between my crazy adventures, and, um, yeah, <laughs> and I'll be, uh, doing more live streams in different locations. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I didn't really tell you folks where I am right now, so, um, if you've been following along, you probably have an idea of where I might be right now. And um, I'm going to start on the little feats now. And you probably know that I've been heading east from Portland. And that last uh, last time I live streamed, I was in the north top, like the top center of Montana. Um, well, right now, as you may guess, I am in... North Dakota in a little city called Min Minot. Okay, so I got one leg. Now it looks like a potato with a dick. I don't know. Or like a, a, a smoking whale or a bean. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, get down with the kick down. You don't got to be a baller to drop a dollar. Um, also, I have Patreon and t-shirts and what have you good times. Um, I am definitely going to be staying here tonight, obviously, because it's already late in the day, but um, tomorrow is going to be, like, really fucking gross. Like, you know, a lot of rain, and it's obviously you saw outside. I'll show you again, because it's amazing. This is the view out my window. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, like four feet of snow dropped last week here. Absolutely, absolutely wild. Thanks, Kate. Um, it looks like somebody else kicked down. Did I say thank you to the other person that kicked down? Oh, here we go. Julie, thank you, Julie. Yeah, I was going to keep you guys guessing, but, like, I, I already posted it on my Facebook where I am. And if you follow me on Facebook um, or Instagram or whatever, you can um, get more clues about my whereabouts and see really nice pictures of where I'm at, as well as um, getting more of an inside scoop about what it is exactly that I'm doing 
because I'm not really like telling you everything on my YouTube. Um, there's definitely a lot more, a lot more content elsewhere. <laughs> Captain says he's at the park on his cell. That's cool, man. You don't always have to be super mod. It's all G. All right, so I got one leg. I'm gonna do the other leg. Gonna make you a two-legger. It's like, it's like most folks. I'll do, do, do. I'm gonna make it a little like extra cute, like with its leg, little leggies, like going out in different directions. Like that. Now it looks like a bean with legs. It's gonna be a cute, gonna be a cute wire bird. Trust me. It's gonna turn out. Or I could just stop here and just have a bean with legs on my arm. Just like Satan. Aren't you a little bean with legs, huh, Satan? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're so cute. Little bean, little leggy bean. She's <laughs> she's like sighing at me and just like, okay, dude, whatever. What the fuck ever, man. I'm just touching up the outline a little bit. Again, you can never do that too much with stick and pokes because it's like, you know, it's always going to be kind of spotty. It's got a big fat bird butt. See? Just a happy little bird butt. All right, bean with legs, we're gonna turn you into a burb. Actually, I'm gonna let it rock right now and hang out with you, chat. Chat. Hi, how's it going? What's up? Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> I kind of, uh, hey, what up, Zig? How's it going? Yeah, that's my homie Zig. I don't know if you guys, um, if you saw my last live stream, but he's got a channel too, and there's some Slab City content, which I'm not doing anymore. Somebody's got to do it. Um, so yeah, go, go check out his channel, and maybe one of these days we'll do an interview or some shit. Mm, 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 mm. I kind of want to, like, walk you guys around briefly in the hotel if that like that that might weird somebody out but since when do i give a shit about that it's so cool. i'm just gonna probably not be talking as loud while i'm doing it because i mean people here already know that i'm crazy so okay let's take a little little walk about isn't that nice look at that full wall mirror i love that the 80s aesthetic is so strong here okay gotta make sure i got my key card Welcome to a magical place. It got shut down a long time ago. Now it's half abandoned. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love the exposed wiring and such. Okay, but this is the real prize. Check this out. Whoever designed this area is fucking crazy and brilliant. Look at this. This is insane. There's like little rock pits. But I imagine like through long winters in North Dakota, it's probably really nice to be somewhere that sort of resembles being outside that isn't in tundra. You know what I mean? Like look at look at this carpet. It's like it's like you're walking on fallen leaves. And there's like, yeah. Well manicured hints at what the idea of a lawn, and this is all closed off. Oh, I love it. Look at these lights. I love these old lights. They're like 80s street lights. And this office looks like yeah, like it's outdoors. So fun. 
vaporwave hell. Pool is closed. It's magical. I want to hang out up there so bad. Oh, it's so good. It's so nice. Ah, mm. Oh, it just touches my soul. I'm sure back in the day this was like posh as fuck. <laughs> oh god, I love it. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. This is like just uh, it's so nice. It's like walking through a grassy alleyway or like the idea of a grassy alleyway with little tables and chairs and shit. <laughs> I saw somebody like almost eat shit on these rocks earlier too. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Well, I almost just ate shit. Little park bench. William Bell says it needs people. No, I like it empty. That's like my favorite part. <clears throat> yeah, and like, um, there's also people that are like living here too. There's not a whole lot of actual, um, like here. It's mostly pretty empty. Fucking, fucking magical. I'm in the back rooms. Absolutely delightful. <laughs> Hi, Satan. You're so cute. Yep. So yeah. Vaporwave motel. Just, just good. It's, it's so good. Ugh, couldn't have asked for a better place to stay. And the price is right. I must say. Okay. I'm not going to be able to have you folks see what I'm doing because I got to stretch it just so for this part. <laughs> Conspiracy theorist says, yay, liminal spaces. Yeah, this hotel is liminal as fuck. I love it. I can't stop taking pictures of it. It's just, ugh. It's just perfect. Half, it's like part motel, part bando, part squat. It's got all my favorites. All right, we got the little beak. I'm going to go over that little beak a little bit better. And let's see. I'm glad I was able to get through this using just the one rag because I think I only have one left after this. Yeah, that's, yep, I just have one. I'm going to do the rest of the little feats. Cause it's got little square feet, which I think is pretty cute. It's kind of reminiscent of this um, Baba Yaga house that Zoe did. I don't know if Zoe's in chat right now, but yeah, she did that, that one. All right, we got the little feetses. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I kind of made it a little sloppy, but that's okay. It's a happy accident. Happy little bird feet. Let's take a look. <laughs> it's it's authentic. That's what it is. It's authentic hobo code. Hobos aren't, well, a lot of hobos are, are artists, but 
hobo code is more about getting the message across than making it look pretty. So that's good. That's why I like doing it at stick and post because it's like super easy. You know, there's no, there's not really a right way to do it. The, it can be as sloppy as, as sloppy as can be. And as long as you can make out what the symbol is, then it's, it's all good. Okay, so there's, we got the bird's bird body and the beak and the feet. So now I just got to do the little tail bit. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> then we'll have hobo code for free telephone. Oh, hey, Zoe. She is here, lurking. Cute. We got, we got the gang all here. Wowie. I feel like the luckiest dude in, in this cheap motel. All right. It's good enough. Now we gonna do them tail feathers. I made the butt like way bigger than I originally was going to, but that's okay. Cause it's kind of adorable that way. It's like, um, I did Zoe's lizard and I made it like way chubbier than I was originally intending to, but it's like, it's really cute. It's just a chubby lizard. With the funny little feet and the curly tail. Just like the one on the door of the library. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, all right. Little tail feathers, let's see. Mm, it's kind of hard to get it at this angle. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hold my arm like this so you won't be able to see what I'm doing again, sorry. That's just how we, that's just how we gotta do it. It's so derpy. Oh. Oh, that's just nice. That's so cute. Look at that derpy burb. Oh. That's pretty damn cute. I'm not done, I'm gonna do some touch-ups, but I wanna see what it looks like in the mirror. Let's see. Yeah. Looks like a dumb seagull or something. <laughs> dumb seagulls are always looking for handouts. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, cool. Very nice. So derpy. All right, I'm just going to fill in a few spots um, in the line work that are not as good as they could be. Just put a few extra little pokes in there. And um, yeah, now would be a good time to shamelessly plug my my links again. Um, check the links in the description. Like I said, if you want to get down with Kickdown, a couple people did today, and that's really great. Um, and I also have a PayPal and a Venmo. And um, yeah, if you want to throw a couple bucks my way, you know, hobo's got to eat, right? Um, so that, uh, <laughs> that's where your donations are going directly to food and shelter. Cause, um, not, uh, I mean, I bought this fucking bottom shelf champagne that I'm drinking, but other than that, I'm not really drinking at all. Um, there's 
I'm not buying gas. Uh, so yeah, pretty much just food and lodging. Could sure use it, especially with this weather. Um, I'm at least staying one more night. Hopefully I can afford to do two more nights because tomorrow is going to be like really gross. Um, and then after tomorrow, uh, I'm going to get moving again or tomorrow after the next day. I don't know. In a day or two, I'm going to have to get moving because I don't want to live in my not forever. As cute as this place is, um, I got other places to be. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and my Patreon, that's right. Um, you can pledge a dollar a month even, or five dollars or ten dollars, and um, have access to pictures that I don't post anywhere else, um, as well as I'll, I'll be posting periodic like journal entries or um, pictures of stuff from my sketchbook or like, you know, stuff that stuff that you're not going to get anywhere else and um you can get a better idea of like what i'm actually up to because i'm only showing a fraction of what i'm up to on my youtube channel oh hey it sounds like somebody got down with a kickdown hey carefully carefully check oh thank you janice and thank you tiana appreciate it um so like i was saying earlier this hotel room was 30 bucks a night so that's that that's like i mean for an entire you know an entire night of sleeping somewhere warm and access to water in a shower like that means so much to me right now because you saw what it looks like outside it's not nice like if the sun was out you know snow it, it takes a while for snow to melt um, especially when it's as uh, thick on the ground as it is right now. And it, it like, it might look cold because of the snow on the ground, but it's not when the sun's out. It can be like, you know, a good 45 degrees, which to me, I think that's, I think that's beautiful weather. Um, but that's not what it is now. And when the sun's not out and it's rainy and windy, that's, that can kill you. It, it sure can. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm not. I know when to cut, you know, I know when to cut out, and that's what I did. <laughs> like, I, I slept outside the first night that I got here, and um, woke up, and the bottom of my tent was, like, frosted, frosted over, and I knew that I had to get somewhere to, um, you know, at the very least, dry my gear, and I looked up hotels in the area, just, just for shit, see if there was anything that I could afford, and lo and behold, there was. This beautiful vaporwave apocalypse hotel, motel. I don't know what the fucking difference between a motel and a hotel is, but yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> okay, I could fucking, I could definitely see myself staying here again for sure, but I don't know when the next time I'm going to be passing through here is going to be. But with the way I live, I guess I don't really know. And we're almost done with the little burb, which is perfect because we're at about... Uh, almost an hour, I think. Yeah, I was thinking if I finished like super early that I could maybe do another tattoo real quick, but this is perfect. Okay, here's my cute sloppy burb. <laughs> so cute. And again, that's a, that's a hobo code reference. Satan, stop it. Go on your spot. Quit talking shit. She gets weirded out inside when she hears people moving around outside because she thinks that they're like messing with our space because we're not indoors very often. So she just gets like confused, but that's, yeah, that's not okay. It's not okay, is it? Um, yeah, so um back to spanging i i got um i got my camp food still that i've been eating obviously i got a pizza that's um what i'm tattooing on top of my pizza box 
Um, but uh, yeah, I, I've been just mostly eating like my camp food, like trail mix and um, Slim Jims <laughs> and uh, uh, what else do I have? Oh yeah, I've been making like um, energy balls out of powdered peanut butter and maca and like mushroom powder and um, that sort of thing. So like, yeah, with that, I can, I can get by. I definitely can. Like I'm not going to die um, or anything, but it's nice to have a hot meal. You know what I'm saying? There's a little Mexican joint right next to us. Oh shit. Thanks, Will Davidson. Hey, that's Captain. <laughs> What's up, dude? Dude, thank you so much. Um, that's, that's so kind of you. Um, yeah, thanks everybody that donated. I'm not fucking off quite yet. I'm just, I'm just like really stoked. It sounded like I was going to say like, okay, bye now, but I'm not. Um, yeah, I'm so grateful to everybody that kicked down today. Um, and I think I'm done with my little burb. I'm going to like go and admire myself in the mirror real quick and I'm going to leave the phone here so that I don't have to like hold it. So hold on a sec. Oh yeah. That's pretty great. It looks cool. Yes, now I'm finally getting stuff over this line. I've been trying to just kind of, well, I, I got to fill this in and in this area too, but I've been trying to just like build um, a sleeve, you know what I mean? So I'm just kind of working my way up. Yes. So good. So cute. It's a little dumb burb. It's a little handout bird. Aw. I should make t-shirts with that on it. Aw. Look at the little feet. Oh. Yep, okay. I'm with I'm cool with that. Okay. Good tattoo session, everybody. Well done. Well done. Good job. We did it. Hmm. Now I'm just gonna hang out with you folks and chat for a minute and drink some more uh, champagne. Some Andre Spumanti. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yes. He's so cute. Just like Satan, you're so cute. When you're not talking shit. Hey, bean dog. Hi, bean dog. You so love you. You so love you. We love the Satans. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We love you. Yes, we do. <laughs> That's my good girl. That's my good girl. Satan, you should be the star of the show. We need to start your own channel. The Satan Dog Channel, where you can talk about all the cool stuff that you do all the time. Yeah. You can talk about all the cool stuff that you do all the time. Wow. Yes, it's true. You do such cool stuff. Did you go on a ride? What? Did you go swimming? Did you go play? <laughs> what? Satan, oh my god. Look at this dingus. Satan, are you the cutest? Are you the cutest? Are you the cutest dog? Are you the cutest dog? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 Jesus Christ. She's like a... It's like having an ADHD kid, but with like four legs and they can run really, really, really fast. <laughs> and they don't talk. <laughs> William Bell says she's digital camouflaged. I know. She's, she was born with digi camo. Fucking A. Captain says you rock the stick and poke. Thanks, man. <laughs> I love it. I love a good stick and poke, and I haven't done one in a while. It seemed appropriate to do some hobo code on this trip at some point. I'm definitely going to do more. 
Uh, and I'm probably going to do them on the, like this area when I do live streams because it's easier for me to like show you what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I got to fill that shit in. All this, all this needs work. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Probably just like continue with the doodles and stuff. Um, but I did all that with the tattoo machine, which is in my car. Um, so uh, I'll probably have to wait till I get back to my car, which I'm going to have to do pretty soonish. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> Mary says, won't kick down cash, but would love to send Corn and Saint a care package. Mary, we're, tra we're traveling. We, there's, the you can't send us a care package that's, um, where, where are you going to send it to? <laughs> uh, that's like, yeah, I, plus, um, also I'm not looking to acquire like literally anything. Um, if you do send me money, like I said, all money goes to like, room and board and food and that's not just for me that's for my dog too so and i only get her the best dog food and um we can only she she carries her own dog food and she can only carry about three pounds at a time not because she can't carry more but because that's how much her backpack fits so i can only buy i, I usually buy the five pound dog food bags of like the best stuff like buffalo blue or whatever it's called the blue stuff and um um like just grain free like i don't buy her old roy for fuck's sake um so yeah if you want to if you want satan to have nice things then you can kick down my paypal and uh since i'm not buying schwill anymore or for you squares booze or for you squares um alcohol since i'm not buying that anymore um then Whenever I get, like, whenever I would have bought alcohol, um, instead I go and buy, like, really expensive treats for my dog. Because, you know, like, what else am I going to do with that money? Um, so, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. I don't want stuff. Please do not send me a care package. Um, <laughs> people keep trying to give me stuff, and I'm like, yo... Like, yeah, that's a nice thing to have, but I can only, I can literally only carry, like, so many things. And if it's not, like, something that I absolutely need in my everyday life for my just basic survival, then I don't fucking want it. Like, sorry. <laughs> I don't have a house to keep it in. Captain says, all my money goes to Reaper. Fuck yeah, dude. I know. Reaper's so cool. I'm so glad you have her. <laughs> Melissa says, this beer's for you. Fuck yeah, cheers. Yeah, that's the thing too. If you don't, if you don't kick down, it's fine. It's like, cheers. Just fucking hang out. I know, uh, I know times are tough for everybody. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bethany says, you can buy whatever you want with the money you're providing us with exposure to another life and entertainment. I most certainly use my paycheck to buy what I want. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I always, um, I always get, oh, oh, I got another, I think I missed this one from Janice. Janice Anderson kicked down today as well. I think I actually, I think I shouted you out earlier, but yes. Excellent. Um. Yeah, totally. Like, I always get weirded out when people are like, oh, I won't give them cash, but I'll go and buy them a meal and then bring it to them. Like, my mom always taught me that sort of thing. Like, she would say, never give homeless people cash because they're just going to buy drugs with it. And like, you know, I, I love my mom, bless her heart, but um, who cares? <laughs> you know, we all do drugs. We're all, like, we all are buying stuff that is not the healthiest thing for us like come on now you know um and and also uh for me as a person who has stood on the street um with a cardboard sign saying like you know um I, I usually I'll fly something like uh 
traveling artist out of out of gas or out of cash or whatever um just letting people know what's going on not like a sob story like please help or whatever like no shade to people who fly that but like you know i whatever but like what when people just assume what i need what they think that i need and then bring it to me like almost always I have to like refuse because they'll bring me food that I can't eat and then it's just like sad and frustrating because it's like I have food allergies I have celiac disease so if you bring me a fucking burger from Burger King that's like giving me a bag of fucking poison like no like you you're trying but it's useless to me it's not it's it's not good or like people will try and kick me down like a 40 pound bag of shitty dog food and it's like you know what like, your heart's kind of in the right place, like, almost there, but also, like, you assuming that you know what I need better than what I know that I need is, like, arrogant and, and like, shitty as fuck, and um, also, like, my backpack weighs, like, maybe 60 pounds, I'm not going to carry around a fucking 40 pound bag of dog food on top of that. That's insane. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah. Like I said, we carry five pounds of dog food at a time. Like I literally, I've had people come to me and bring me like bags of groceries and stuff. And they're like, here you go. This will help. And it's like, I have to be like, well, I can take this and I can take this, but the rest of this I can't because you know, I I'm carrying everything that I own right now or everything that I have. And, you know, people will be like, oh, wow, I never thought of that, huh? Like, yeah, people don't have houses to put their things in. Like, don't don't assume that you know what they need. Don't give them bags of groceries. Just, I mean, if anything, if, you know, if, if you really don't want to give people cash or whatever, just go and ask them like, like a human being and be like, hey, buddy, I'm going into the store right now. What do you need? And... You know, if they're like, oh, I could use, you know, I could use a beer. Like, fuck yeah, get them a fucking beer or whatever. Or like, get me a rotisserie chicken <laughs> for dinner. I don't know. Like, if you must. But otherwise, just fucking hand them some money. Who cares if they go and buy drugs with it? You know, like, maybe maybe if they didn't have to, I don't know. You don't know where people are at. Shit. Who cares? Fuck it. Just give homeless people money. Holy shit, Rusty Tash. Thanks, kick for th bleh. You made my brain short out. Thank you for the kick down. That's very generous of you. Oh my goodness. Very nice. Oh, that's that's my TED talk for for today. For real though, like <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> for real, like n nobody nobody knows what kind of journey anybody else is on. And who are you to judge? Like, how do you know what you would be like if you were in the situation that other people are in? Like, you, come on. All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get off my get off my tangent um, mode, and I'm gonna put some of this wonderful Vaseline on my new little tattoo here, just to kind of seal it in and protect it. I should have done that earlier, but I forgot, and now I'm doing it. It's better late than never. Here we go. It's nice and nice and lubricated. Um, this is one of those things that I will gladly carry in my backpack. Um, instead of like, um, I use this instead of lip balm and, um, you know, instead of uh, aquifer for tattoos, instead of, um, I use it in my nose when I get like, I get dry nose trapping in my yeah it sucks but I use it for that um dry skin you know just a little little bit kind of pat around I even use it um I don't have any in my hair right now but I even use a bit of it in my hair like a little little bit and you can rub it in there um there's actually indigenous people around the world um use it I don't know about American indigenous people but I'm sure you know like uh people like pre-colonized people or whatever uh they use like animal fat as a, like a hair pomade and i was like you know what that's a really good idea but i'm not about to put like animal fat or like butter or like 
you know, whatever in my hair because that's just going to attract bugs and animals. But like a little bit of petroleum, let's see. And I tried it out while my hair was still wet and it's fucking phenomenal. Like, I'm not going to lie, like just a little bit. Um, but right now, yeah, I don't have, this is just no product and my hair looks fucking incredible. I don't know how it does that. It just does. Um, whatever. I wash it with bar soap. <laughs> Audrey says, I use a ton for my psoriasis and it's so cheap. Fuck yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Um, so that's one thing that I do carry. And I've actually um, gotten a few more, like I've traded out a few more items in my backpack. So like since the last breakdown of my gear, um, yeah, there's, there's a few things that are different in my pack. And maybe I should like... Maybe I should, like, count every single item in my bag and see how many there is. Because, like, I don't know, that's kind of cool. Like, there's, um, there's certain monks that will have only a hundred things to their name. And, uh, that's, like, all that they have. And that sounds like a lot, but, like, if you're counting, like, your toothbrush and your floss and your pen and each sock you know what I mean then it yeah I, I probably have if I were to guess I would guess that I have maybe like 50 items in my backpack something like that including every sock and like well maybe maybe 70 I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna break my shit down and actually count. Maybe I'll do that on live next time and show you my updated gear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Captain just posted a link to my Instagram. Go check that out. I got a bunch of stuff on there. I'll be posting a, a better picture of my little my little friend here. Um and yeah, check it out. I I don't know. I've been taking lots of really good pictures. You should go go and look at them and enjoy. <laughs> it's good. Um, hmm. I'm... Look at that dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm distracted by how cute Satan is being in the background. Hey, baby. Hello, sweet pea. Hmm. Biggie James is asking, what are you toking on tonight? Um, well, if, if you haven't noticed, I'm inside of a hotel room. And if I smoke in here, then they're going to charge me $250. I do not have $250, so I'm, I'm not smoking in here. Or even, like, I'm not even thinking about smoking in here. Um, I do have a bit of weed that I will smoke outside later, but I'm pretty sure weed is still illegal in North Dakota as well. So I gotta be kind of careful with that. I gotta do it old school and like hide behind some dumpsters or some shit. Um, and yeah, <laughs> so um, not smoking. And uh, when I do, it's just a little bit, my tolerance is so low right now. And um, yeah, mostly just drinking this champagne. That's about where I'm at right now. Probably gonna watch some TV. I don't watch a lot of television. So that's a little novel for me. I'm just gonna like, stare at a screen for a few hours and maybe order some dinner that would be cool if i oh i should order some dinner yeah before this pizza i hadn't had hot food since i was staying in that yurt and the hot food that i was eating was like uh, freeze-dried camp food so yeah before this pizza I hadn't had anything that wasn't camp food since mm, yeah like three weeks ago four three four damn near a month of like nothing but camp food that's crazy huh my hot time flies so yeah maybe i will get another hot meal holy shit oh yesterday i did have a plate of mexican food that's right um 
So yeah, that was my, yeah, hot food. That was really good. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was delicious. I did not expect to find authentic Mexican food here in North Dakota. God damn it. So good. Mary says, sadly, North Dakota isn't legal. We here in Oregon are, hence why I asked where you were. Okay. Jesus says, your channel is the realest. Oh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely would like to do another tattoo live stream soon in the future. Maybe I'll do um, another one of the hobo code. Um runes images whatever i do like the i do really like the good place for a handout one that one's funny as hell and cool um i also like good road to follow that one's nice and um good water i really like good water um in in actuality i like good water but also i like the good water symbol and then of course there's the uh good place to catch a train um, there's, I did two different versions of it, but, um, it's cute, but also I don't know if I'm going to do any train tattoos anytime soon. I also do like the caution symbol. I mean, obviously I like all of these symbols because that's why I drew them in here, but, um, I, I really like this is the place. <laughs> I just, I just like it. It's good. This is the place. Um, Yeah. So, these are just a few of my favorites. Mary says, will you bite the hand that feeds you? What the fuck are you talking about? Mary, take your meds. What, what are you talking about? The Truth Warrior says... 420 is legal for medical use and is decriminalized like my state. I like my state. That's cool, dude. Fuck yeah. Um, Elizabeth, your heart's in the right place, but my pronouns are they, them. And I've told my mods to delete any posts in the chat that um, misgender me. And, uh, oh, I get it. Mary Chambers is throwing a tantrum about... Me not wanting a care package. Look, I literally already told you that I don't want a fucking care package. Bite the hand that feeds me. You haven't fed me. What are you talking about? Fuck you, pay me. Simple as that. What you gotta say about that? You're alright, Elizabeth. Just, uh... You know, your... <laughs> your posts are gonna get deleted if you use the wrong pronouns. That's, you know... That's, uh, them's them breaks. Cornelius Van Gogh is a they them. It's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It looks like somebody else got down with a kick down. Unless I got a text. Oh hey, I got a Patreon subscriber. Ellen just pledged ten dollars. Oh, my Patreon. That's per month you pay what you pledge and then you get access to my my um awesome content that is not available anywhere else and i'm about to do some content dumping after this delightful live stream um because i have a lot of pictures that i can't really show anywhere else and i don't really want to because it's kind of on a need to know basis you know what i mean so that's kind of my way to appreciate people that um that pledge monthly is just to show them a little bit more um just more intimate photos from my life the type of stuff that i don't even want to post on instagram really because you know it's like i don't know i'm not trying to put myself on blast here but yeah good stuff can't wait to show you can't wait People are asking me, okay, you're the second person who asked about shoestring. Um, no, I don't know him, um, but I just came across one of his tags the other day, and I posted a picture of it on my Instagram, so it's kind of cool. 
<laughs> Funny stuff. He did teach me um, through his YouTube channel a lot of stuff that I otherwise wouldn't have known before I headed out on this particular um, adventure. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fucking buy some food. Shit. Now I'm thinking about hot food again. That pizza. It, in gluten free, they only have small pizzas. Um, like I said earlier, I have celiac disease, so like I can't just eat anything. And I don't eat pizza very often because most places don't have gluten free. But up here They've got Pizza Ranch, and they have, like, the best gluten-free crust I've ever had. So, you know I got one. Um, ew, my nose is itchy. Why is my face itchy? Hmm. Anyway, um, hopefully it was gluten-free. <laughs> Gluten doesn't make me itch, usually, I don't think. Um, but, yeah, anyway. Uh... Yeah, there's not really a whole lot of, like, takeout food that I can actually eat, so. Yeah, we'll see what, what else delivers around here. Somebody says there's a hobo convention in Iowa every year. Yeah, I think it's coming up pretty soon, actually. <laughs> William Bell says, send me your care package. Yeah, send Will the care package. He could use it. He has an address. I'm traveling, like I explained. <laughs> Jesus Mendoza says, if it is, just scratch it. I heard that when your nose itches, it means that somebody is thinking about you, but you're, like, all watching my live stream right now, so maybe that's why my face itches so much. It's like all these people are watching me and thinking about me, and it's just like, Aah. I'm itchy. Itchy face. <laughs> William Bell says, I'll save them for them. Yeah, if you save, if you send William Bell care packages for me, then I'll get them when I get back to my vehicle. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to fill up one more cup of this finest bottom shelf champagne. Hey, Dave just joined us. What's up, dude? You missed the entire tattoo, which is on screen right now. I just did a little burb. It's hobo code for a free telephone. Like, you know, back in the day when you would have to, like, go and find a phone, like a wire telephone, to go and use it before the cellulars took over. Ugh. And then, yeah. I mean, I remember back before people had cell phones. Like, cell phones existed when I was, you know, coming of age. But, like, most folks didn't have one. It was kind of like a fancy thing. It, like rich people would have these big ass monstrosity phones or I knew um, when I was like 10 or so I had um, some rich family friends and they had a car phone. This was a thing like like right at the birth of cell phones people could have car phones that like you know um, I, I don't really understand like it was before, like, people would have pocket cell phones, you know, back when they had, like, the big honking fucking cell phones. Most people didn't have it because it wasn't worth it. But some people, and in this particular family, they had, like, a nice, um, uh, like, expensive cutting-edge SUV. And, like, attached to the dashboard was this big honking fucking cell phone with, like, a cord coming out of it and everything. But, like, you could get calls from people in your car. And that was wild. Yeah, like, I remember the first time I saw them use it and I was, like, mind blown. Like, whoa, you just took a phone call in a moving fucking car. That's wild. 
Um, and I was like kind of kind of envious too. Had that weird like plastic covering over the whole thing, like over the numbers. Like it was it was weird. Um, but anyway, yeah, you know. But like in some really rural places, still where there's no cell reception, um, you have to go and find a payphone. This happened to me recently. My car broke down in some state park, like out in the middle of fucking nowhere in. I think it was Oregon. And um, I I found a forest service guy to tow me with some tow rope that I had in the back of my car. This was when I was driving King Ratchet. This is in one of the videos. And um, he towed me to the nearest rest area, which had a pay phone because there was no service anywhere around there. And so, you know, I used my my one phone call because I only had enough change to make one fucking call and I used my change to call up my homie um to ask about like car stuff because I was like yo dude like I'm in a bit of a pickle here my car broke down in the middle of nowhere and I don't have service so I can't look up what's wrong with it and um you know whatever I'm gonna see if I can spange up some more money for another phone call and I need you to go online and look up these symptoms and like tell me what you think that it might be so I can figure it out, blah, 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 blah. So like, yeah, when you're in that kind of a situation, finding a free phone somewhere like means a lot. So yeah, that's one reason why I like that. And also it's just like communication in general is important. So it's just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a throwback. It's fun. I like what it represents. It's a, it's a conversation piece. Danielle C says, love King Ratchet videos. Fuck yeah. If you haven't seen the King Ratchet series, go and fucking watch it after this. Watch my King fucking Ratchet series. That's how far will my $200 car go? And there's, I think, five parts, six parts to it. I think there's six parts to it. Um, that was the series that I did last summer. And it gets love. It sure does. But it doesn't get enough love. I really don't think it does. Like... Um, so yeah, go and check out my series and like share it and like and subscribe and get down with the kickdown, join the discord, blah, 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 do all the things. Oh, we got another pledge on Patreon. Stacy, Stacy just pledged five bucks. Thank you so much. And I'm so excited to share with you more content on Patreon. Um, <laughs> Danielle says great music in the King Ratchet videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. I take a lot of pride in um, the music that I select for my series. Captain Grimm got to ride in King Ratchet. Hell yeah, dude. That was before I hit the road in it. Oh, man. Good times. That was a good live stream, too. Wow. We've been through so much together. All of us. It was wonderful. It was so beautiful. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah captain got to steer for a little bit while i was um smoking a bowl or something i think <laughs> and we went out to the shooting range and shot some some boom booms and did good stuff that was a fun live that was actually a really good live yeah <laughs> Wow. Oh, what a life. Huh, Satan. What a good life. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I'm almost done with this delicious beverage, and then I'm going to fuck off, because now I'm starting to, like, I'm, I'm literally, right now, I'm daydreaming about uh, what kind of food I'm going to get. <sighs> mm-hmm. It's good. <laughs> wow. A third hot meal in a couple days. Look at this. This is what I was like running around in the other day. Oh my goodness. That's, yep. That's what I'm about to get back into. Uh-huh. Gotta get out there sometime. Now, this is not usual weather, even this far north. 
uh, this late in April. That's fucking unheard of. It l legit dropped four foot of snow last week. Like, about three, four foot. Like, while during the winter, that is normal for these parts. Um, yeah. It, it, crazy. It... It's weird. And it's really bad for farmers too. My my uh, family, that I almost said my family up north, but I'm actually kind of parallel to them now. And I'm only four hours west of them. Um, some of my family up north, whatever, you get the idea. Um, in Northern Minnesota, they're having kind of a hard time because this would be the time of year that they would be planting and they can't because there's still snow on the ground. So that's gotta be pretty frustrating. Um, and I'm sure a lot of other people are in the same boat too. I don't know what that means for harvest uh, later this year. I, I'm not sure. There could be crop shortages, um, which is unfortunate. Because yeah, there's a there's a lot of agriculture up here. Oh, we got a kick down from Elizabeth. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. You're all so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Sharon, yeah, that's the plan. I'm staying inside. That's why I'm getting down with the spange. I'm like, yo, fuck you, pay me <laughs> so I can stay in this fucking hotel until the at least the sun comes out on um, Sunday. It's supposed to be nice on Sunday. There's still going to be snow and it's still going to be wet and muddy, but um, it should be above 40 degrees most of the day. So that's nice. Um Jesus said, I heard it's rain in Minnesota today. Yeah, and it's going to be rain here. It, it was supposed to rain today here. Um, it's going to be raining probably in the next couple hours. Uh, and it's going to be raining through the night and, and all day tomorrow. So, you know, I'm going to be posted up here. Chilling in my vaporwave hellscape. Hopefully eating more hot food. <laughs> Cole Winters says, I work at a global seed company. We're all good on our end. I don't know what that means. Like, you're distributing seeds? Because if you're distributing seeds, that doesn't mean shit for harvest. Jesus says, you're a strong hobo. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself a full-fledged hobo yet. But, um, yeah, I'm getting there. Mm-hmm. Definitely a strong start. That's for sure. Sapphire says, I'm so tired of the wind in AZ. Yeah, I heard it was real windy down in the southwest lately. So, that yeah, that must be pretty maddening. Mm -hmm. Oh, what am I going to eat for dinner? <sighs> Somebody said something about barbecue. I'm not going to scroll up and see who it was. But, yeah, I'm, I don't know. Maybe there's a, I think there's like a Dickie's barbecue pit around here. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh, what am I going to eat? Oh, my God. Captain says, Corden daddy kicks ass. So many couldn't hang. For sure, like, if I didn't have the, um, if I didn't have the experience and the know-how that I do, then doing what I just did traveling from Portland to here, um, would have been deadly for sure. Yeah, like... Um, it's no joke. It really isn't like I took the one clear day to get out of Portland because it, it was storming and even snowing like the whole like part of the time that I was there it was snowing, but it was raining like crazy almost the entire time that I was there. And, you know, um, I got out when I could and I took that break in the storm system and just like chased it across here. And if I had been a little bit faster, I would have gotten through here and I wouldn't be stuck here right now. And I would be in Minneapolis right now. But, oh, and I just blew where I was going. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, but I didn't, um, I didn't move quite fast enough because of a few things that like, you know, you just couldn't foresee logistically. So, you know. Um, but I learned a lot about taking opportunities when when they need to be taken and 
about also like self care because you know I could have pushed it a little harder and moved through a lot faster, but um, you know I would have been really pushing myself, and I'm I'm not doing this to like to run myself ragged or like stress out or to impress anybody. So, you know, it is what it is. If the weather had cooperated, if it wasn't so cold when I got through Minot, then, you know, then things would have been different and I wouldn't be here right now. But it is nice to rest up. And for the price, it's really not bad at all. So, you know, <laughs> It's all good, and I'm not complaining. And yeah, that's. I think as as far as um. As far as my own personal travel progress, like I did really good getting this far in the time that I did, and I can't control the fucking weather. And I'm not gonna put my dog through shit. Like, she's kind of a freeze baby. She does not like being cold in. You know, we got a little cold and I'm not going to I'm not going to put my pup through anything that is going to like stress her out or make her like feel like shit or anything like that. Me, kind of a different story, but, um, you know, I can I can push it, but I'm, I'm not going to do that to my dog because she's perfect and deserves only the best. So I know she can handle it. She's tough as fuck, um, but, you know. We don't need to push it. <sighs> Isn't that right, Satan? You're so cute. So loyal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sapphire says, gonna see family? Um, yeah, family and friends. Yeah, if you know about me, then you know that um, Minneapolis is my home city. I was born there. So, um, going back to home turf. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I kind of, I'm kind of thinking that I might spend a little bit of time there. Like, you know, a couple weeks or so. I think it'll be fun. And this is a really nice time of year to be in Minnesota. And I haven't spent any real time in Minneapolis since, like, since I left. So, um, yeah, it'll be fun. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Whoops, let it split. Let it slip. I mean, I let, I let my, uh, Whatever. If you've been following along, you probably guessed. But, um, yeah. Heading to Minneapolis. And, um... And we'll see how that goes. But, uh... You know. I don't really travel with expectations. I just travel... To travel. And, uh... See how it goes. I'm sure it'll be great, though. Like, May is such a nice time to be in Minneapolis. Oh, my God. That's why I want to be there. And apparently, like somebody else mentioned earlier, there's some kind of hobo convention in Iowa. So that might be a cool place to meet people, I guess. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish my drink. And then I'm going to fuck off. And then I'm going to order some food. Mmm. Fuck. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Super fun. This turned out great. I'm happy with it. Um, and, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing probably more stick and pokes at least. Probably some more cooking shows and, um, fuck, who knows? We'll see. All right. Thanks to everybody that kicked down today. You guys are fucking phenomenal, and you are directly responsible for me and Satan 
being warm and dry and happy and fed. So thank you very much. And, um, well, I'll see you later. Bye.